Let's evaluate the square root of 39 plus the square root of 3 all over the square root of 12 all raised to the 7. Well, our first step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of the parentheses. So we have the square root of 39 is same as 3 times 13 plus we have the square root of 3 all over the denominator we have the square root of 12 is same as 3 times 4 and this is raised to the 7 now simplifying further this expression can be simplified into the square root of 3 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 3 all over the denominator this expression can be simplified into the square root of 3 times the square root of 4 all raised to the 7 now notice that on the numerator the square root of 3 is common so we can factor out the square root of 3 open a bracket now the square root of 3 times the square root of 13 divided by the square root of 3 we have the square root of 13 plus the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3 is 1 all over now the denominator we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 4 is actually 2 well this is raised to the 7 now notice that the square root of 3 can cancel out the square root of 3 leaving behind the square root of 13 plus 1 on the numerator all over 2 all raised to the 7 so now we can introduce substitution we can say let a be equal to what we have inside of the bracket which is the square root of 13 plus 1 all over 2 that means in essence what we're actually looking for will be a to the 7 so after finding a to the 7 that will be our final result but before that let's cross multiply so when we cross multiply we have a times 2 which gives 2a to be equal to the square root of 13 plus 1 now let's move 1 to the left hand side so we have 2a as 1 crosses to the left it becomes minus 1 and this is equal to the square root of 13 now in order to get rid of the square root we have to square both sides so I'll take the square of the left I'll also take the square of the right and now expanding the left hand side we have 2a squared gives 4a squared minus 2 times 2a times 1 that is 4a plus 1 squared is 1 and this is equal to now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 30 now our next step will be for us to move 1 to the right hand side and also move negative 4a to the right hand side so we have 4a squared to be equal to 13 and as 1 crosses to the right it becomes minus 1 and as negative 4a crosses to the right it becomes positive 4a so we have 4a squared to be equal to 13 minus 1 is 12 plus 4a now notice that 4 is common on the right hand side so we have to factor out 4 so we have 4a squared equal to factor out 4 open brackets 12 divided by 4 is 3 plus 4a divided by 4 is a now notice that 4 can cancel out 4 from both sides so that we have a squared to be equal to 3 plus a 
I'm going to asterisk this since this is going to be an important factor of our calculation. Now recall that I'm looking for a to the 7. But I'm going to do this sequentially by saying I'll get a to the 4. From a to the 4, I can get a to the 6. And then I get a to the 7. So these are my step process to get to my final results. Now, how do I get a to the 4? Simply by adding 2 to this exponent. So this becomes a to the 2 plus 2. Well, an expression like this is only correct when I do this. This is a to the 2 times a to the 2. Good. So this is actually a way of making it correct. So we see that we have to multiply the left by a to the 2. And we're going to be doing the same thing to the right hand side. So this becomes 3 plus a, which we have on the right hand side. And we just have to also multiply it by a squared. That is it. So this we have a to the 2 plus 2 is 4 equal to this is 3 plus a times a squared. Remember, a squared is 3 plus a. So this is 3 plus a. Now let's expand what we have here. So a to the fourth becomes 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 times a is 3a plus a times 3 is 3a plus a times a is a squared. So this simplifies into a to the fourth equal to this is 9 plus 3a plus 3a is 6a plus now a squared has appeared here once again which we have to be 3 plus a remember our star that is it now simplifying further we have a to the fourth to be equal to 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 6a plus a is 7 a. Now our aim is to get a to the 6. But in order to get 6, I have to add 2 to this power. Remember how we add 2 to an exponent? It becomes a to the 4th. But to add 2, I have to multiply by a to the 2. That is it. Now let's also multiply a to the 2 on the right. So this becomes 12 plus 7a, which we have on the right. Now multiply by a squared. So this simplifies into a to the 4 plus 2 is 6 equal to this becomes 12 plus 7a times a squared which is our asterisk is 3 plus a. Now we have to expand what we have on the right hand side. So we have a to the 6 to be equal to 12 times 3 is 36 plus 12 times a is 12a plus 7a times 3 is 21a plus 7a times a is 7a squared. So this simplified into a to the 6 equal to 36. So I'm going to be writing down 36. Now add up like terms. 12a plus 21a gives 33, 33a plus 7a squared. Remember our asterisk is 3 plus a. Now let's expand this. So we have a to the 6 to be equal to 36 plus 33a plus 7 times 3 is 21 plus 7 times a is 7a. Now simplifying further, a to the 6 will be 36 plus 21 is going to be 57. And then 33a plus 7a gives 40a. And now in order to get a to the 7, all I have to do is to add 1 to the exponent. 
and remember how we can add one it's simply by writing a to the 6 and multiplying that by a to the 1 and we all know that a to the 1 is simply a so I'm going to be multiplying the right hand side as well by a so this becomes the right hand side we have 57 plus 40 a so I'm going to be multiplying this by a in order to balance the equation now 6 plus 1 is 7 so here we have a to the 7 to be equal to a times 57 is 57 a plus a times 40 a is 40 a squared now simplifying further we have a to the 7 to be equal to 57 a plus 40 times a squared which is our asterisk is 3 plus a now let's open up the bracket we have a to the 7 to be equal to 57 a plus 40 times 3 that's 120 plus 40 times a is 40 a so simplifying further we have a to the 7 to be equal to 57 a plus 40 a is actually 97 a plus 120 now recall from our substitution that we said let a be equal to the square root of 13 plus 1 all over 2 so we're going to be putting that here so we have a remember a is the square root of 13 plus 1 all over 2 or raised to the 7 which is what we're looking for equal to this is 97 a a is the square root of 13 plus 1 all over 2 and then plus 120 so simplifying further this becomes 97 times the square root of 13 plus 97 times 1 is 97 all over the denominator 2 plus 120 so we have a nice fraction here so i can just put over one here now let's take the lcm lcm of 2 and 1 is 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 times what i have on the numerator i have 97 times the square root of 13 plus 97 plus now 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 120 is 240 now adding we have this expression which is the square root of 13 plus 1 all over 2 all raised to the 7 to be equal to now here i have 97 times the square root of 13 plus 97 plus 240 is actually 337 all over 2 which is our final answer well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like I always say, until next time, take care.